The first time may not be the best time, but it's always a memorable one. When you know the notes to sing. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 film firsts. For this list, though there are often several pieces of work that claim to be the first, we're only looking at movies that use techniques that became standard for the industry, or were the first to achieve an impressive goal, and which still have surviving film to show. I'm afraid you might not agree. Number 10. The first horror film, The Haunted Castle. Depicting a man who encounters the devil and other spooky creatures, this film might not scare the pants off you, but it is notable for many reasons. Director Georges Méliès was an illusionist who took an interest in the new art of cinematography, reportedly discovering the stop trick entirely by accident. While seemingly simple and outdated, it was wondrous and bewildering for viewers at the time to see people and objects disappear into thin air. Méliès later made A Trip to the Moon, which is widely regarded as the first sci-fi film and a pioneering work of art that utilized innovative special effects. Number 9. The first color 3D film, House of Wax. Come in, come in, come in, ladies and gentlemen, see the House of Wax. After his wax museum is set on fire, the proprietor seeks revenge, killing those he finds responsible and using their corpses as sculptures in his new exhibit. To you, they are wax, but to me, their creator, they live and breathe. This film is a loose remake of 1933's Mystery of the Wax Museum, but it's very significant in its own right. You shouldn't have done that, my dear. Vincent Price appears as the maniacal lead in a horror film for the first time, and in color 3D. Additionally, House of Wax boasts the first use of stereophonic sound. I'm rebuilding my exhibition from the ground up. I'm going to give the people what they want. Sensation, horror, shock. These two advances show how quickly the film industry was expanding and making an effort to truly engage the audience in an immersive film experience. Careful, sir. Keep your head down or I'll tap you on the chin. Look out. Duck. Number 8. The first full-length narrative feature film, The Story of the Kelly Gang. This Australian film depicts the legendary tale of Ned Kelly, murderous outlaw to police, but Robin Hood to the people. You might not be impressed by the 60-minute runtime, but this was made in an era when most films were between 5 and 10 minutes long. Up until this point, films had to be billed with others to create a show of any length. The film was originally thought to be lost, but several reels were discovered and restored to the 17-minute film we now have. It includes the iconic scene of Kelly's Last Stand, in which the legendary Bush Ranger wore homemade iron armor. Number 7. The First Kiss on Film – The Kiss it didn't take long for filmmakers to start sexing up their work. Thomas Edison, yes, that Thomas Edison, commissioned this film, which shows a man and a woman nuzzling each other sweetly before sharing a closed mouth peck. Those 18 seconds became infamous, since kissing in public could get you prosecuted at the time. The film was labeled shocking and obscene, with the Roman Catholic Church even calling for it to be censored. Naturally, all the uproar inspired a myriad of copycat kissing films. That same year, one of the first pornographic films was screened in Paris, Le Coucher de la Mariée, or Bedtime for the Bride, which depicted a woman stripping. Number 6. The first film to gross $100 million, The Sound of Music. When the Lord closes a door, somewhere he opens a window. Some sources give this honor to 1939's Gone with the Wind. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. However, the title actually goes to the 1965 Oscar-winning film that surpassed the record-holding gross Gone with the Wind had earned as of the next year, The Sound of Music. The hills are alive with the sound of music. Despite initially receiving mixed reviews and a limited roadshow theatrical release, the musical drama following the young Maria as the governess of the Von Trapp family became a box office smash. You can and thanks to an initial four and a half year theatrical release, as it was re-released more than once, 
it became the first movie to hit the $100 million mark. Silver white winters that melt into springs, these are a few of my favorite things. Number 5. The first animated cartoon film. Phantasmagory. Emil Cole secured his place in film history with the earliest known use of hand-drawn animation. Phantasmagory is a short, surreal film with a stick man that encounters an array of shape-shifting objects. The simple drawings in a stream of consciousness style are a tribute to the incoherent movement, a short-lived artistic movement in France in the early 1880s. Hand-drawn animation would remain a staple of the film industry until the game changed in 1995 with the release of Toy Story, the first feature-length computer animated film. To infinity and beyond! Number 4. The First Special Effects – The Execution of Mary Stewart Special effects are inseparable from films, and their use goes back to the beginning of film itself. This film is another 18-second contribution by Thomas Edison, and it's just as controversial as his other work. Though he uses a stop trick to replace the actress whose character is to be executed with a mannequin, many audience members didn't realize this. They were shocked to witness what they thought was history's first snuff film. Thankfully, special effects have improved with the use of computers. The first feature film to take advantage of computer technology through digital image processing was 1973's Westworld for the gunslinger's android vision. He's got all the sensory equipment. <laughs> it's a beautiful machine. Number 3. The first color film in Hollywood. The Toll of the Sea Though many films claim to be the first one in color, The Toll of the Sea certainly makes the best case for it. Starring the iconic Anna Mae Wong in her first lead role, the film is the first Hollywood-made color feature that didn't require any special equipment to project it. The drama itself deals with the challenges of forbidden love between an American man and a Chinese woman. Though some criticized the portrayal of Wong's character as the Madame Butterfly Asian stereotype, it introduced the difficult subject of interracial marriages in a highly conservative time. Number 2. The first film with sound, The Jazz Singer. Wait a minute, wait a minute, you ain't heard nothing yet. Telling the story of a young Jewish man who runs away from home to follow his dream, this film is one of the most significant in cinema history. A peculiar sort of a Sunrise, A Song of Two Humans, was among the first films to utilize sound for musical scores and special effects. However, The Jazz Singer was the first feature film to use synchronized sound techniques for both speaking and singing. Talkies would turn the industry on its head and change the course of cinema. Making noise, breaking toys, always fighting the boys. As technology improved, new sound techniques were introduced, with Dolby stereo sound being used for the first time in 1976's A Star Is Born. You can trash your life, but you're not gonna trash mine. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. I remember, I remember all of it. Well, I ain't gonna be around to pick you up when you fall now. Both of you gotta take care of each other now. I'm not trying to piss you off or nothing like that, but I can't do this. I can't drive you around while you're around killing people, man. That ain't, it ain't my job. Tonight it is. Number 1. The First Film – Round Hay Garden Scene You might be hesitant to call a mere two-second recording a film, but the Round Hay Garden Scene was truly an innovation. Louis Le Prince is known as the father of cinematography for inventing a single-lens camera to shoot moving pictures. He shot the first motion picture film using a single-lens camera and uh, paper film. It's called the Round Hay Garden Scene. Earlier attempts at film, such as Edward Mybridge's 1878 Sally Gardner at a Gallop, were more like flipbooks. Other notable early films, like Arrival of a Train at La Ciotat by the Lumiere brothers, reportedly surprised audience members so much that they dove out of the way of the oncoming train. Even back then, 
film's incredible potential was apparent, and possibly led to the father of cinematography's mysterious disappearance. He disappeared without a trace, uh, his luggage was gone, vanished without a trace. Do you agree with our list? Yeah. Yeah. What's your favorite film first? And when my work is done, coming home to the setting sun. For more groundbreaking top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. <laughs>